Hey everyone, my name is Sherry. My husband Hutch and I have been traveling all over North America for the past seven and a half years in this little can ham camper. And we still like each other, can you believe it? When we left our lives back in 2012, we wanted to live more simply and sustainably. Now living with solar power was key to being able to live off grid. It allowed us to get to beautiful and remote places away from power lines and away from roads. And our friends at IonCon helped us get our heads around solar and helped us design our solar powered system. Our complete Renergy system cost about $1,000, which was equal to what we paid in power bills in our traditional home annually. So let us show you how our solar powered system works. So there are four components to any solar powered system. And the first, the panel. Ours is a Renergy 100 watt folding solar suitcase. So we use our panel in kind of a hybrid situation between permanent install and portable setup. When we're rolling down the road, the panel lives in this DIY and securable bracket that lives on the top of our truck bed cover. The panel's charging up our battery as we're rolling down the road and it'll stay in place if we're gonna park somewhere just for like a night. But if we get someplace we're gonna stay for many days, we'll take the panel out of the bracket, set it up anywhere within 25 feet of the trailer. This way, the trailer can be in the shade while the panel is out in the sun. And the best thing about this solution is that we didn't have to drill bracket holes into the roof of our 63 year old trailer. But of course, you don't have to use a bracket like this. The suitcase comes with its own case. Fold it up, put it away in one of the compartments of your rig. So welcome to the inside of Hamlet. And we're gonna talk about the second component of a solar powered system, and that's your charge controller. Now the charge controller is something that you absolutely have to have because it monitors the energy coming from the panel to the battery itself. And what it does is it monitors how much charge it's getting, keeping it from getting overcharged, which can actually be dangerous. So ultimately it will extend the life of your overall system. Now we have the Renogy Wanderer 30 amp charge controller and it works with all types of batteries. So as you probably guessed, that is the third component of the solar powered system and that is where energy is stored so that we can use it later like at night or maybe when it's raining and we recently upgraded from a deep cycle lead acid battery to a lithium iron phosphate battery and it's a Renogy 50 amp hour unit and we love it it runs longer it weighs about one-third of a traditional battery and it actually charges up faster because as we recently learned, it has less internal resistance. So there's two types of electricity that we use inside the trailer. There's alternating current, AC, or direct current, DC. So alternating current is the traditional kind of power that comes into our homes and runs anything with one of these. Direct current is gonna be generated by a solar powered system. That's the kind of power that can also be stored inside a battery. So if you wanna run one of these, you're gonna need our fourth and final component, the inverter, which transfers DC power into AC power. So what do we run on DC power? Well, we've got some LED house lights that we can actually dim with this handy remote control down to 50% or even 25%, saves us even more energy. We've also got our fantastic fan here. Helps to clear smoke out after cooking or um, keeps us cool on a hot summer night. And finally, we recently installed a USB charging station. All of these things run off DC power and are connected directly to our battery, which saves us energy. So there's just a few things that we need to run on AC power. So to do that, turn on the inverter and that'll bring power to two traditional household outlets. So we can charge up our laptops, we can run a few other household appliances, and it'll also power up our overhead sconce lighting. So some key takeaways. We have been able to travel wherever we want, whenever we want, all over North America without any electric hookups. It has been awesome. And of course, there's always been a little bit of maintenance issues, like with everything, but it hasn't been something that we couldn't do ourselves. Maybe get a little assistance from the folks at Renogy. And once you get your head around it, solar is easy. It's wonderful. And we've learned a lot about the technology itself. Yeah, it's kind of like a daily solar savings account. You collect, you store, you use, and the important thing is you try not to use more than what you can make. And we've learned how to negotiate that balance. 
So if we have inspired you to go solar, check out the link below and we can get you a discount on some Renogy products. And of course you can follow us directly from our website, freedominacan.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on see the road. See you on the road.